Hello, welcome to Smart Rigger uh, Software Spreader Bar Basic uh, Introduction. And we'll get going here and just walk through the introduction of the basic calculator. Uh, when you click on the uh, Spreader Bar Basic, you'll get a uh, Terms of Use. Uh, we'll just click on Agree. And let's bring this in to focus. So the basic calculator offers um, basically uh, uh, three units of measurement, U.S. Customary, British Imperial, and SI. It's broken up, uh, the mainframe is broken up to inputs and outputs uh, with the diagrams here in the center. So what we're going to work through today is go through an example and I'll go through the actual individual uh, features as we work through an example. So what I have here is just a basic spreader bar. This is a three bar tree, but we're going to focus on the top bar and just walk through the calculator and, and show some of the features in it. So let's get started. So we'll work in the US customary units. Uh, we're going to work down the input side and select uh, design category B. If you hover over the description of the input, you'll get a either a information box or a suggestion box to kind of give you a little bit more about some of the inputs. It's not on all of these, but it is on uh, a few here kind of given recommendations. So we'll just follow that. So our load in this particular case is 52 tons. Our spreader bar length is 36 feet. We're going to use pipe for this type. Uh, and we're going to select to start with, we're going to select an 8 inch schedule 80 for right now. We're going to use uh, X52 pipe API grade. If you hover over the material strength, you'll get a couple of different grades of uh, uh, your HSS or pipe. Um, we're going to use the API 5L X52 with a 52 KSI yield strength to start with. The in cap deduct length, and we'll check that here, is 15 inches. So, come back here, and that's per in cap side. The link cap and in cap weight for these is 250 a piece. The top shackle we'll be using is a bolt, and we're going to be using a 3 inch. And the bottom in cap is set up to use both of the same shackles, so we'll use the same one on the bottom. The top and bottom shackle types and sizes, uh, if we can hover over the, the type, you'll get the three types that's offered. Uh, these are based on um, Crosby dimensions. Uh, and you can look and see that's a 2160, 2130, and a G209 uh, size. Right. Next we'll put in the sling length. We've got a 36 foot spreader bar, so we'll use a 30 foot sling to start with. Here's some recommendations that you can follow to, to get a 60 or 45 degree respectively for vertical and for vertical basket configurations. For our sling, we have three types. Um, we're going to use a polyester endless round. If you hover over sling tight, you'll get a short window view of each individual. Uh, one, we have a one part mechanical spliced IWRC, uh, EIPS 6x19, uh, I and I sling. Next, that is offered is a strand mechanical spliced, a grommet uh, with the same 6x19. And last is the polyester endless round. We'll use a vertical configuration. And if you're wondering what that looks like, it's sort of shown right here. And then for this size, we're going to use a three and three quarter, and we're going to use this as our starting point for the calculation. So after we've put everything into the input, we'll look at the graphical representation. We'll notice that this is just a representative, and uh, even though it has the INI slings in here, we've got the selection of the um, polyester endless round, so the description will be accurate to that. Same way for the um, 
the, sh the shackle. So this is just a generic uh, spreader bar picture here to use to populate the results. So we'll go ahead and calculate. And we've got a failure on the pipe. Um, let's see, we've got uh, should it be at good percentages on our polyester endless round. Uh, we're really good on our three inch bolt style G2 uh, 2130s for top and bottom. We get our sling angle here, but we notice we have a pipe failure, and this is based upon equation 332 from ASME PTH 1. So we're above 100%. Uh, so what we're going to do is we've got several different outputs here. We're going to look at the tabulated one and kind of see where we are here. So with that, we need to go up in pipe strength. And there's several ways we can do that. We can go up into the yield strength, or we can just go up in wall thickness or diameter. Uh, so we're going to try an extra heavy 8 inch. And it does bring it in uh, to compliance. For that. Now, if we wanted to consider deflections, we have a button down here um, to consider the the actual deflection of the pipe under its own weight. And we'll see if that will be sufficient, and it still is. Uh, for a 36 uh, foot or point, we showed about 0.613 inches of deflection in the center of the pipe. So, but we still show to be good across uh, our remaining requirements. So this looks like a good configuration. Notice that we get the hook load up there, and this is our lifting load here. All right. So what we can do is now we can put this information into our drawing. And we can do that simply by clicking on the text. So if we click on the text once and then come over to our drawing. And then I am just going to right click and see if I can paste. I can, but it's very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to format that. Got some text over here. It's not wanting to work. Let me try that again. There we go. Now we're just going to spread this out a little bit. It works well if you already have that set up. And then we'll double click on it. And then click out. And there we'll go get the, uh, the actual text from the printout. And we'll do that for the remaining components. So click on there. Let's go to Control B. shows us we've got the text in there. We're also going to put in the pipe information. So I'll just click there once. Control V. And then we'll just properties paint that there. So we have the pipe information, we've got the, uh, the sling information, the top and bottom shackle information, and that should work. We've got two more um, bottom spreader bars we can work through as well, but I think that will be it for, for right now. It's very good. So that covers the basic uh, spreader bar inputs and the basic calculator. 
Um, there's the tabulated results, which breaks everything down into the pipe, rigging, and rigging weight, and geometry. Another way to present it. Um, there is a calculation worksheet, which will print out the calculation as well. If we click print calculation to worksheet, we'll do that right quick. And so we get the uh, details of uh, the calculation available here, and we can copy and paste this into a report. Um, one of the features that we have as well is a is a kind of a nice report that it puts it together uh, for you. We'll put in some company name. Let's hit today's date, or let's just use the first of the year. And that's for XYZ company. And we'll hit generate report. And we will get a basic report. Let me bring that back down here so we can see it. And if we click on the print layout, it gives it a better format here, and we can kind of see the tabulated data as well as the pictorial view of the graphical results. And we can go ahead and print that or save it and export it into Excel, Word, or PDF. All right. There is also, we'll clear this offer with the basic calculator, is a charting a bar charting calculator. Um, this is meant to give uh, a, a chart of the capacity of the bar along with the um, in cap capacity if it's inputted and which it should be and the top and bottom shackles. So it's a way considering the top bottom shackles in cap and bar and it will increment through links giving a certain sling angle and give the actual capacity at those given links. So we can work through one particular um, calculation right here as well. Um, what is necessary to do before we run this calculator is to set up our shackles and our um, yeah our shackles in this particular here as, as well. Um, our deduct length. So uh, if we've already calculated that once, we'll know that we're, we're, we should be good to use that information. What we'll just put is the remaining information. So we'll look at a 60 degrees. We'll start at a four foot spreader bar. We want the slenderness ratio to be less than 150, go all the way up to the max. And we're going to say that the, the capacity of the end cap is uh, 85 tons and then we will hit calculate here and we will get a basic list here of the capacity at the different lengths as it grows uh, so we'll get a summary of the sling angle the slenderness max the material strength which was loaded in the main calculator uh, the in cap capacity which we put in here uh, the top shackle capacity, uh, the bottom shackle capacity, in cap weights, uh, as well, and then a reminder of the units is U.S. customary. Uh, give the pipe information that is being used here. So if we wanted to look down through here to see where we were at for the 36, is we were good for 62 tons uh, at 36 feet. Uh, we were lifting uh, 52. So. I'll let you see it right around there. We also get a description of what is the limiting factor. Here we're limited by the end cap. And once we reach about 28 feet, we'll be limited by the pipe material itself. All right. And that is the basic rundown for the basic spreader bar calculator.